Hi, my name is Ros Savage and I'm a British ocean rower and environmental campaigner. And I'd like to talk a little bit about an experience that I had when I was rowing across the Pacific. This was the first of the three stages of the Pacific row uh, between San Francisco and Hawaii. And I decided that I wanted to use this stage of the row specifically to talk about plastic pollution in the oceans, which seemed very fitting as I would be rowing around the outskirts of the North Pacific garbage patch, this area in the North Pacific gyre that allegedly has about three and a half million tonnes of plastic in it, with more and more arriving every year and about 80% of which comes from land, the rest from um, cruise ships and the fishing industry and so on. And things actually couldn't have worked out more perfectly. Uh, it's going to sound a bit strange because it starts with a very bad thing happening. My water maker broke. This is the way that I make fresh water from seawater while I'm out on the ocean. But as luck would have it, my course started to converge with the course of a couple of scientists who were out there doing research into the North Pacific garbage patch. And to really make the point about plastic pollution, they had built their boat entirely out of junk. Uh, 15,000 empty water bottles lashed together into two pontoons, a deck made out of yacht masts, uh, the cabin was the fuselage of a Cessna airplane and they'd stuck a sail on it and called it the junk raft. And so one sunny day, several hundred miles east of Hawaii, uh, the junk raft and I met up for one of the world's more unusual dinner parties. They were able to replenish my water supplies, uh, they caught a fresh fish which we ate and they also showed me the results of their research. Every one of the 88 days that they were at sea they had a trawl behind their boat which dredged up plankton and plastic and the plankton allowed them to sort of benchmark the amount of plastic they were finding out there and on a typical day they were finding six times as much plastic as plankton which is completely the wrong way around. Plankton is the good stuff that forms the basis of the ocean food chain. The plastic is just bad news. It gets eaten by fish. It then, as those fish get eaten, it accumulates higher and higher up the food chain until it ends up right on our dinner plates. So my experience with the guys on the junk really brought home to me just how serious this problem is. And it's not just a problem way out there on the ocean. It's having real impacts on human health. And I like to use this story in my presentations to really bring home to people that we can start making a difference. Really from tomorrow, we use far too much disposable plastic. We're dying of convenience. I know it's fabulously useful stuff, but we just need to use less of it because to me, it seems crazy to make a so-called disposable object out of a relatively indestructible substance. So plastic bags, plastic cups, plastic water bottles, we don't need them. Um, we can go back to using glass, we can bring our metal bottles, whatever. It's something that each one of us can do starting from tomorrow and every time we use our reusable goods, it's a little reminder to ourselves that we are making a positive difference in the world.